Hello, hello everybody! Welcome to Lex's Lounge and the reason I'm making a video today is because uh, by the time you guys are watching this, SpaceX has successfully launched its first 60 satellites into orbit for its Starlink project. This is a huge deal and I'm pretty sure that the mainstream media is going to screw the pooch in terms of covering it because why would they ever cover a story that affects every person who has an internet connection on Earth? Because, uh, yeah, why, why would they cover such an obvious thing? So I figured I'd talk about it a little bit. And if you haven't heard what Starlink is, uh, it is the program by SpaceX, the company that launches all the reusable boosters, to uh, launch 12,000 mini satellites into the Earth's orbit. They'll be layered in three layers at different altitudes. And uh, the plan is to provide low-cost, uh, broadband, high-speed internet all over the planet Earth through this mega constellation of 12,000 teeny tiny little satellites. They're not that small. Uh, there's about 60 of them that fit into this first launch. Here they are uh, in the fairing. You can see that uh, basically that they filled up the entire loading area with the 60 and that's an 18 and a half ton payload uh, which is historically a record for SpaceX as well. But once they launch all of them then you're going to be able to have uh, that high speed internet everywhere whether you're on a cruise ship or in the jungle or up in an airplane. Uh, so long as you're below the mega constellation you should be able to get connected and it'll be a very low cost uh, system to maintain. 95% of the satellites burn up when they re-enter the Earth's orbit when they get old, so they're easy to dispose of. Just an all-around good system. And a few other ideas similar to this to create an internet mega constellation uh, have kind of stalled. The most obvious example is Google's Project Loon with the high altitude balloons uh, that we're going to be uh, providing the internet. So it's, it's nice to see somebody getting out ahead. When I first did a video about Starlink, it was back when SpaceX launched Tintin 1 and Tintin 2, just a couple of prototype satellites, which they piggybacked along with a client launch just to see how the system would work. And I was really hoping it would get above that phase. So now to see that Tintin 1 and 2 have done so well that they've already built 60 production satellites and have already put them into space, that is terrific news. Now SpaceX is going to have to keep up a hell of a pace uh, to get 12,000 satellites up into the air. Even the 7,000 that they're already pre-approved for, they got to launch those pretty fast by their license requirements. They got to do 7 to 10 launches of 60 satellites apiece to make this happen within the time limits. Uh, they also think that it's going to take 12 more launches or a little over 700 satellites up in the air before they're able to actually roll out the service to North America a little bit and provide some layer of coverage on at least some portion of the planet. While this all sounds insane and grandiose, I actually think that SpaceX is going to achieve it. Because overall, the program could cost, you know, 10 to 20 billion dollars uh, to do all those launches with all of the spare Falcon 9 boosters that they have laying around. The one they launched just now was already on its third run. The amount of profit they stand to make if they displace every single ISP provider on the planet with the system, they'll make their money back so they don't have to worry about spending it. I for one will definitely try out the SpaceX internet as soon as it becomes available in my area. Why wouldn't I? The current uh, high cost internet infrastructure we use, which supplies me with my internet, is my second or third biggest bill uh, for the year in my household, which is quite expensive. So there's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, and I think that SpaceX is making a good faith effort to deliver worldwide internet coverage at a low cost. Uh, it's, it's all very exciting because this is the situation that will eventually lead us 
uh, to the so-called internet 3.0 uh, ecosystem. I will link down in the video description to the launch uh, of the SpaceX rocket that carried those first 60 satellites uh, if you're wondering exactly how it all went and I'll also link to a bit of more uh, reading material about uh, Starlink if you want to look into it but otherwise subscribe and hit that like button if this was useful because I am going to be following Starlink as those first uh, 700 to 1000 satellites go into the air uh, and uh, as soon as the internet becomes available, I'm going to be all over it. See you guys.